You're still watching NTV's Weekend Edition. And just to put everything into focus, we have political analyst and academic Yusuf Serunkuma. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to NTV's Weekend Edition. Thank you so much. On a very busy day. Yes. Um, is this a reflection of what's to come? Well, the, the NRM primary remains the main election because mm -hmm. we have majority of MPs in Parliament as NRM. Yeah. So the primary determines what she comes to power. It's a very serious election. So yeah. th a reflection of who they've chosen and also a reflection of the chaos and the tension and the, all the rage that has been around it? You can actually say the election has already happened, mm -hmm. right? So what we're looking forward to seeing is a reflection, but this is exactly what it's going to be, right? And if you see the violence, which is internal, right, internal to the best itself, it's quite fascinating that what would happen if the people contending for the same spaces but are not from the internal, yes. right? So, you know, this is an absolute reflection of what's going to be happening what, what, uh, in the general election. What surprised you so much? You said, uh -huh. yeah, the internal fights are there. But, uh, yes, some of the results are already surprising. But even before the results, what was surprising about these elections? I don't think there's anything surprising. Mm. You know, this is like some machine. Mm. You, you, I mean, you're adjusting some of the little, little things that make the machine roll. But the machine has to continue rolling, right? Perhaps it makes us appreciate a rather different analysis that, you know, politics has become do or die. Yes. It's a career, right? It's you either there or you actually there, right? So you can't, you can't afford to lose, you know? So that shows us uh, the big analysis is that the NRM is here to stay. All those who are thinking of kicking it out of office in the next five years, perhaps, or through an electoral process, they're dreaming. And you say that because the numbers are turned out, the the excitement or that follows such a primary, that even till today maybe you see the same numbers or even more turning up? No, I don't say that because of the numbers. You know, like in the countryside, it's just an area, right? You know, in, in the countryside constituencies, the NRM is the party, right? So it's only, you cannot have a fair election if it's happening within the NRM. Because there, you know, if you're a member of the opposition, you're standing against the DC, the RDC, the, the police commander, you know, all those people. But here, you're standing against yourself. Okay, so yeah. I, I, if you're saying that, mm. and then the bickering has been between this person and this one, same party, um, and what we're seeing is a wave of where the big names, the names that we've always seen and heard, uh, are some, you know, are letting go for younger uh, people. This change, what is happening amongst the people? What's the wave? No, I, I think you have to appreciate the superstructure, the ways in which the system is structured. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very common if happening every time we go to an election. A couple of big names fall off, right? This is not a couple of big names. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you just see? Seven names actually get knocked off mm. every time we go through this, this round of electioneering, right? It's, it's not a big surprise for me because, you know, uh, the, the one inch is seemingly speaking a different language, right? But the, the people at the forefront, those who are playing politics in the campus, are mm -hmm. speaking a different language. Mm -hmm. So every time they go back, they want to reflect their aspirations with the changes that happen, mm -hmm. right? But the interesting thing now is that it has to ha happen internal to the NRM, mm -hmm. right? So the changes are happening internal to the NRM, and it's the language that people are speaking. I've seen a very bizarre signpost where Simon Suga is apologizing, is apologizing mm -hmm. right? Because he knew when he came to Kampala, even th the last bullet at the bottom is like, for saying things you actually didn't send me to say. Mm. Right? I find it really fascinating that, you know, r delivering an apology in the middle of a primary election. Is that the first time that's even happening to them? I've, I've not seen it before. Saying. I mean, yes. the bullets, I mean, over 10 <laughs> bullets, they all speak a different language, yes. right? It's basically <coughs> apologizing for even pushing the change of uh, age limit. Mm -hmm. He even apologizes for that, right? So when they come to Kampala, they speak a different language. Yes. And the one I teach to listen to different language. Mm. So in the countryside areas, you are pushing that even people who belong to the FDC vote in the inner primary, right? Mm -hmm. So the language reflected in the countryside is different from the language that is spoken in Kampala. This, um, mm -hmm. this day isn't just watched by those in the NRM who are competing. The opposition is watching. Yeah. And uh, what, what do you think their mindset is right now, watching what has transpired, not even just today, even the days leading to today? I, I really think they're dead scared. Really? Right? Because if internally the best can fight like that, mm -hmm. what about if you are fighting against? Because there are a couple of things that are really fascinating, right? You know, COVID-19, we have all these presidential directives, we have social distancing, wearing their masks. We didn't see any of this happen yes. throughout 
the NRM primary, right? Today, we didn't see people observing social distancing. No, did we see people It didn't look enforced. I think it rather looked like a choice. No, people. no. The, the mantra, the slogan for the COVID-19 directive goes like, you know, if you're in the opposition, you have to comply. Right? If you're Luta Maguzi, you'll be imprisoned. If you're Zake, you'll be beaten to pulp. If you're Samji Ibrahim Munganda, you'll be arrested, all right? If you're Lydia Wanyoto, if you're Anita, if you're all those people, you can do as you please. That, that's how the slogan looks like. If you understand the shift uh, in the ways in which directives have been understood and implemented, power often behaves the way it pleases. Those fighting it have to comply with the directives. So why would the opposition be scared? I think, isn't it that... Because you've not seen the amount of violence committed against each other. I mean, this, this, is, this is a family fighting. If you read the image, of the terrible image of a family. Yeah. What about if you don't belong? And you want to eat the senpai that this family is fighting for, right? Because, you know, politics... Could that be an advantage instead of something that would scare them instead? No, because... I don't know. I mean, if it's, mm. a, it's, a, it's a family fighting and you don't belong to this family, well... You don't Court be with this and you want to come and take share from this because you know politics in this country. We're never going to an election to serve the one inch. We're never going to the election set to change the way in which things are run. We struggle to get these places because it guarantees us to the dining table. It guarantees you space to the dining table. So if you and young people in the NM see themselves as owning the dining table, right? So if you don't own it, what's going to be to you? Right? You're like a stepchild into this neat family. S staying with that uh, analogy of the dining table, now that uh, some big names, as you said, every time big names fall off, this feels, I don't know why the impact this year feels slightly different. What then happens? What do you um, sort of forward think, see that maybe the party will have more problems or not, given that some names have fallen off? No, they don't. Uh, mm. I see no problems. Is it? The, the jargon is going to continue rolling, right? I mean, it's happened before. Even the president said if, if in a wheel is rolling and the spoke falls out, what happens? It keeps rolling, right? Mm. All the people in the NRM are actually replaceable and easily replaceable. The people that are going to take up Anita's place, uh, Carol Cruz, all these ministers that are fallen are already available, right? And, and you know, it's, it, the, everybody has a price. I'll pay to do the job. And, you know, I don't want to sound like perhaps I'm gloating, I'm laughing over those who are falling off. No. Uh, Perhaps we need to be very sympathetic. They are also equally victims of this, the ways in which politics run in this country. You are used, right? You, you have to keep the, the juggling Is it rolling. maybe the way they have run politics? No, it's not about them. It's about, you know, you have to appreciate the superstructure. There's a structure in you. As long as M7 is still around this country, the, the powers that, that manage things are invisible. They never contest for electoral mm -hmm. positions. They can easily switch who comes in the electoral position, but the actual power is rested elsewhere. Mm. Yusuf mm. Serum, a political analyst and academic, thank you for your time this Welcome. evening. We'll take a short break. NTV Weekend's edition um, actually does continue.